For today, I've actually come to a different location here on Starbase. And as you can see behind me, this is a new testing location that used to be Massey's gun range until recently this year when it was acquired fully by SpaceX. Now they've spent the time transforming this location into a cryogenics and a structural test location. And as you can see behind me, they have several test articles undergoing certain levels of evaluation at the moment. Now some of these are test tanks that have different or new components, perhaps the three millimeter stainless steel which is being experimented on to try to reduce the overall mass of the Starship. They are also trying to use uh, new domes that are of materials that have less parts and they're a flatter design also that will help with some of the volumetric space efficiency inside of the ship in addition to the structural strength and reducing the complexity. You also see behind me the nose cone testing apparatus with a nose cone in it right now. Now what they do is that they take a nose cone, they cut off the top and they put a test article on for the tip and then inside they have hydraulic rams that will provi provide some force down on that so that they can test the structure of the nose cone. This is normally done for max Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure which is experienced during the initial phases of launch shortly after they go supersonic. They can also test other configurations of the nose cone as well. Perhaps some of the payload door configurations that may be tested at some point in the future. But all of this is to try to ensure that the strength of the nose cone is sufficient to be able to perform the mission. And as you can see, nearby that nose cone testing rig, there's Ship 25, and it's been moved out here for testing and to help ensure that the uh, site out here is ready for operation. Now the interesting thing about Ship 25 is it's very similar in design of Ship 24. Ship 24 is the one that's out at the orbital launch facility now that's being restacked for that launch hopefully next week. Ship 25 is kind of the end of the line for this particular design of the ship and I think that SpaceX is using it mostly for testing out this new uh, range which is located about a mile or so away from the site closer to the city of Brownsville. Now this entire site is uh, open to the public at least to this point. Uh, the gate guard uh, informed me that uh, we could uh, be out here, you could film, you could take pictures, no problem. You just can't go through the gate which is uh, very nice to see just the openness and the accessibility that they have out here at the old Massey's test range, now the new cryogenic and structural test portion of the Starbase uh, factory site. So I hope that you enjoyed this view of a site that's not normally shown and uh, just get an uh, insight of some of the other activities that are going on out here at Starbase. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that. Stay tuned for some more updates here at Starbase as we build towards hopefully next week the launch of SN or Ship 24 and Booster 7.